Good day, everyone. Uh, in one of the videos, we have learned that uh, uh, we can use uh, uh, the section methods, uh, let's say, uh, set int 32 okay, uh, to set uh, a key okay, with certain value, or we can use the uh, set string okay, to set a key okay, associated with a certain value, or we can use the uh, get okay, uh, int 32 okay, with a key to retrieve the value and get string with a key to retrieve okay, uh, the value associated with the, uh, the key. Okay? But then how about that if we have to okay, store some complex okay, data such as an object okay, uh, in uh, the uh, section state, then what do we do? Okay? So here will be okay, again okay, some examples okay, uh, from the book. Okay? Yeah, so over here you mentioned that okay, uh, you can okay, import the uh, Microsoft okay, dot, uh, ASP uh, net core dot MVC dot Newton uh, soft dot uh, JSON get package get okay, uh, into your app get okay, then get okay, then get okay, uh, you can again configure get okay, uh, those okay, uh, kind of arrows two statements into the uh, uh, conf uh, configure services get. Okay, uh, in the uh, startup file, get okay, startup dot C sharp file, and then get okay, I would recommend that, that you also add get okay, this statement get okay, in the uh, configure get okay, configure uh, method in the startup uh, file, and once you have done that, then get okay, then again get okay, in your controller get okay, then get okay, you can uh, again get okay, uh, defined get okay, let's say. Uh, some uh, new object okay, uh, okay, with certain property values, then okay, then okay, uh, you can okay, call the JSON convert that uh, serialize object with the uh, okay, object okay, got created, okay, and then this statement okay, will convert all the values okay, uh, in the object okay, into uh, a string data type, okay, into a string, and then you store into a variable then you can uh, call the HTTP context dot section dot set string okay, with whatever key picked by you okay, to store okay, uh, the serialized okay, string value okay, with the key. Then okay, if you want to retrieve the key okay, in uh, uh, an action method okay, or in another controller is fine, then you can call okay, the get string get with the key, for example, team to retrieve get all the serialized value get into a string variable. And then get you call the JSON converted dot the serialized object. And then with the get type, okay, with the type get the dot, okay, you want to uh, deserialize to, okay. And then again, get uh, pass in the uh, kind of the uh, stream get, uh, uh, variable get okay, as the uh, parameter into this okay, uh, deserialized object okay, uh, method, and then you can get okay, again uh, then uh, convert all those okay, uh, values into an object. Then you can access okay, then you, know, you can access the property of that object. Okay. I have some uh, code okay, pre-written already. Okay, so let me show you get okay, uh, the code in action first. Okay, yeah. All right, okay, let me move this one away. Okay, and then let me call up my uh, sample program over here. So instead of using the uh, team object entity, okay, I have created one okay, called a book okay, entity. Okay. Uh, you can see there is a pretty simple uh, example with uh, three properties, okay, book ID, book title, and then price. Okay, so you can uh, again, I mean, store uh, the micro value in there is fine. Okay, then in my controller, okay, you can see that I have the uh, index okay, uh, uh, method, okay, action method. Then get okay, over here, I just instantiate to okay, get a new okay, a book object. I set the ID to one title, get okay, programming in C sharp, price 1999, okay, then I store it into a temporary variable, I call it a book. Okay. And then okay, I call the JSON converted that uh, serialized object to serialize okay, this okay, uh, a book object okay, into okay, uh, all string values and then store 
uh, those values get into get available again. I mean, you you can name any variable is fine. Okay, and then get okay, I want to get a uh, uh, set get okay, uh, uh, pick a key okay, uh, to get okay, associate this get okay, uh, serialize get okay, uh, string value get okay, yeah into the key okay using the key sorry using the key okay so this is how it works okay but then remember that okay uh, you have to import okay you have to uh, using this okay, uh, microsoft sbx core http because you want to use the uh, http context section okay uh, okay uh, statement okay and then also uh, since uh, you also have to import this one okay newtonsoft.json okay, because uh, you want to okay, use this statement okay so okay uh, once you have done that then okay if you want to uh, uh, let your view okay to retrieve the value associated with this key then here will be the code okay here will be the code so again get okay, uh, remember to uh, import okay, those two statements okay yeah I just add this uh, so-called A, okay, razor syntax, okay, in front of the uh, using uh, directives, okay, then you'll be fine. Then over here, okay, I just call the context that section that get string, get okay, with the key, get okay, uh, again, get okay, picked by you, okay, uh, and then, get okay, uh, it will retrieve all the uh, string values, okay, and then again, uh, you can pick whatever variable you like. But then okay, you want to deserialize okay, uh, those values okay, uh, into an object. Okay, so that's why you call JSON convert that deserialize object, and then you have to pick the type. Okay, so what is the target? Right? Okay, uh, uh, entity type. Okay, so okay, in my case it will be a book. Okay, then get okay, a pass in. Get okay, this parameter. Okay. Uh, this variable as a parameter get okay, into the function. Once you've done that, then get okay, all the string values will be converted into an object. Okay, so I stored into a temporary variable okay, of book type. Okay, I call it a book. Then okay, I want to show the uh, book information, okay, such as book ID, uh, book title, okay, and the book price. Okay, again, I uh, a prefix get okay, uh, loads get okay, uh, statements get okay, with the uh, so called a the razor syntax okay then uh, okay again okay, i want to uh, also make sure that okay, the uh, section okay, value okay, uh, can be uh, even stored with this uh, uh, complex object can be shared okay, in another okay, a controller the product controller so okay i put the hyperlink over there okay and then in the product controller, okay, uh, there's really not much to it, pretty simple. And the view, okay, uh, has almost the same, okay, uh, okay, a code, okay, like the index view, okay, under the home, okay, uh, controller, okay, yeah, except that I added, okay, this, okay, uh, one over there to indicate that, okay, uh, this is the view under the products controller. Okay, so let's, okay, let me uh, run it, okay, then uh, we can see the code in action, okay. All right, okay, let me move the browser okay, uh, into uh, the screen. So there you go, okay, so, okay, uh, the view, okay, uh, uh, has uh, successfully, uh, let me, Pick this by view, yeah. The view has successfully okay, uh, deserialized okay, the stream value into a book object. Then okay, I can retrieve the book ID, okay, which is one. The title is programming in Shisha. The price is 19.99, which is correct. But then how about okay, uh, the, uh, uh, can the, uh, the, uh, the uh, section object, okay, all section state, okay, uh, be shared okay, uh, in the uh, uh, products controller. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so we can see that the uh, in the uh, uh, product controller, okay, the index shisha method uh, also can uh, successfully okay, retrieve the uh, uh, value. Okay, okay, the complex object value. Okay, uh, uh, related to the book. Okay, the book ID is one. The title is programming in C sharp. The price okay, is nineteen ninety nine. 
and then you can get uh, to do a double check. They say assume that we change the price to uh, thirty nine ninety nine. Okay, yeah, and then let's get run it again. Okay, yeah. There you go. Okay, so you can see that uh, the new value get okay, updated. Okay, and then the controller uh, it display the new value as well. Okay. So again, uh, feel free to uh, pause the video, okay, if you need to uh, see the code, okay? Yeah, all right, I think that, uh, okay, I will stop the video, okay? I will stop the video right now, okay?